Hello guys, so now that we have created this simple interface so we can go from home to profile and out, let's create our credentials login. But first, for that we'll need a database and in, in our case we'll use uh, MongoDB. So to go to MongoDB we shall go to mongodb.com and follow the drive free. In this case, you will have to sign up if you don't already have an account. I already have an account, so let's. I will sign in and go to the next step. Okay, so now that you have logged in, you will be prompted up with an interface like this. You just have to go to databases. Inside of Atlas, we already created a cluster, in this case, Project Zero, and go to build a database. In this case, we want the free tier, and it's more than enough. Then we will continue in the free tier, choose a cloud provider, in this case AWS, and a specific region, in my case Paris is the bad, best one, and change our cluster name, in this case I will change to next out YouTube cluster, and create the cluster. So now that we, are, we have our cluster, we have to create a username in our in our case it will be this one and the password I will auto generate so let's copy this password and create the user so this user already exists so I will use it instead and then we will add to my lo local and we will add our IP address as 0.0.0.0, .0, .0, 0, 0, 0 and this will allow everyone to connect this is not very secure, so this might create a security breach. So if you go with this application to production, um, be careful and only choose the IP address necessary to it. So let's go to finish and close. And go to databases. So in this specific case, we will now go to browse collections. And now we will create a specific database. And in this case, let's create by next auth YouTube DB. And the collection name, we shall go to next auth collection. Create. So now we have this database and this collection. This collection is not really necessary but we'll just let it be. Later we can delete it. And now what's really important is how we can connect to this. So now let's go to database again and go to connect. Connect your application and copy this important string where we have here our user, our password and at the end we will put our database. To make a quick recap, we created an account on database, we created a database access and a network access, then we went to database and created a database name and a collection, and finally we, con we grabbed the link um, to be used in our application.